Okay, we've already looked at this paper, this question. But if you're going, if your career path that you'll be taking is um, a STEM subject, science, technology, engineering, or mathematics, for example, if you're going to be a, you're studying to be a teacher, what is a math teacher, then you have a, you you need to have a greater depth of understanding of the these questions and answering them but whether or not i would still encourage you to have a greater depth other than just surface understanding of these questions and how they're answered now let me get rid of some of this material all right here what we had before we started out with two and a quarter minus one and three fifth that's at the top here we changed it into an improper fraction but how exactly does that work two I like to use a circle to represent two uh, to represent a whole so this is one whole two whole and then you have a quarter remember when we turn this into improper fraction it was four two eight and one nine nine over four which is nine quarters nine quarters this cause this can be written as nine multiplied by a quarter so it's nine quarters now let's look at these circles and the and this quarter circle let's change this one whole circle into four quarters and this whole circle into another four quarters so all we have are quarters how many quarters do we have here one two three four five six seven eight nine there are nine quarters so that's how we end up with this nine over four is nine quarters all right so in changing this to improper fraction you could use this drawing as well count the number of quarters and you have nine quarters because this is saying two holes and one quarter because this is really two plus a quarter two holes plus a quarter so this is one of the two this is the other two and then this is the quarter all right so that's what's happening here let's look at the one third the, the, the three the one and three fifth now let me get rid of this let's look at this this is one whole and this is three fifth so we have let's do this um how many fifths can i get out of this let me kind of draw this like this so i have some fifth here all right one two three four five i have five fifth in one hole and five fifth in another hole but i'm interested in three fifth so if i get rid of part of this circle i don't want this fifth and i don't want this fifth so i have one two three fifth here this is one hole and three fifth which is one plus three fifth now this one whole how many fifth do i have it's one two three four five fifth in one whole so i have a total of one two three four five six seven eight fifth here so i have eight fifth here now when i turn it into an improper fraction by saying five times one is five plus three five and three eight end up with the same eight fifth so that's what what happened here eight fifth all right remember we're just examining we're looking back at the question and examining it in more details now <coughs> here then i had nine quarters here so it's nine quarters and i subtract eight fifth 
remember when we drew the line and find the LCM 5 force 20 let's see what happened at this point we have 9 fourth minus 8 fifth we have 9 something minus 8 something else that's a problem we have a problem here if we had 9 fourths minus 8 fourth we know we'd be left with 1 fourth if we had 8 fourth if we had um, 9 fifth I mean minus 8 fifth 9 of anything minus 8 of that same thing gives you 1 of that so we could say 9 fifth minus 8 fifth give you 1 fifth give us 1 fifth the problem is when we look at the denominator we have 9 fourth minus 8 fifth fourth and fifth are two different things so how do we fix this if I could multiply let me get rid of the previous writings we saw this already all right let's come back if I could multiply the 4 by something and multiply this 5 by something else and get the same number under then part of our problem would be solved if I say 4 times 5 and I would get 20 you notice that and if I say 5 times 4 under here I would get 20 so I would have a certain number of 20 minus another number of 20 I would know exactly how many 20s I have left so let's see if I multiply the 4 under here by 5 then I must multiply the 9 by the same 5 so that everything comes back to the same number remember 5 over 5 is 1 you cancel the 5 and you get 1 so multiplying a number by 1 it doesn't change anything the number the value is the same it might look different but the value is the same so what I have here is uh, at the top let me get rid of these now at the top I have 5 nines 45 over 5 fours 20 so the 5 by 4 becomes 20 and the 5 by 9 becomes 45 minus no if you multiply this 5 under here by 4 you must multiply the 8 at the top by 4 too because after all 4 cancel 4 and get 1 all right 8 fours 32 over 5 fours 20 ah so I have 45 minus 32 at the top what is 45 minus 32 it is 13 28 so 45 of anything minus 13 32 of that thing leave 13 of the same thing 45 20 minus 32 20 give you 13 20 so that's really how it worked when I had 9 over 4 minus 8 over 5 and I find the LCM and say 4 into 25 5 by 9 it's 45 minus 5 into 24 4 8 32 this 45 is the same 45 here and this 32 is the same 32 here because when I said um, 4 into 20 goes 5, 5 by 9, it's the same 5 by 9 here. And when I said 5, this 5 into 20 goes 4, 4 times 8. It's really this, 4 times 8, give you 32. So if you break this down, study the pattern, how this is solved, instead of just using the shortcut straight to get the answer then you have a deeper understanding of how these fractions work out right the important thing is that you have a depth of understanding if you're doing some uh, you plan to do some further studies that doesn't require much maths 
you, the, you might want to skip this but I would still recommend it but if you're doing any STEM courses in the future if you are planning to study ma sci um, science technology engineering or mathematics course you have no choice you need a deeper understanding of mathematics than most other people would right so this is how the top part really works out now what we end up with is 13 divided by 20 and we've had put that over 3 all right let's look further at that part here what we have is 13 over 20 divided by 3 over 1 then we had 13 over 20 multiplied by 1 over 3 why how does it work out you divide by a fraction you is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of that fraction or that number now what this is saying is similar to saying that you have 1 divided by 3 is the same as 1 multiplied by 1 third when you divide it by when you divide by 3 it's similar to saying that you have a whole cut up into three equal parts let's try with two divided by three is the same as two multiplied by one third which give you two third when you do this two divided by three is equal to two multiplied by one third give you two thirds you are looking at how many thirds do you how many thirds do you have or right, this doesn't explain it very well the better explanation as to why when you divide by a number is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of that number is to look at a, an example like this 9 divided by 1 third is the same as 9 multiplied by 3 over 1 ah this would do this would make it clearer 9 divided by 1 third is the same as 9 multiplied by 3 divided by 1 if you have <coughs> 9 whole 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 when you say you're dividing it by three by one third you're one third in each you one third each of the nine one you third each you find you cut up when I say one third each you cut up each into three equal parts you cut each into three equal parts now this is 9 each of 9 divided by 1 third you divide it each into thirds then you say 9 multiplied by 3 over 1 what does this give you 3 9 is 27 what this is saying is how many thirds do you have here you had each of the 9 into thirds 1 2 3 how many third that's three so far four five six six seven eight nine that's nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty seven that's the same twenty seven we got here so when you have a number divided by a fraction you're looking at each cut up into equal parts based on that fraction 
then when you say you're multiplying that number you did that multiplied by the reciprocal of that fraction you're looking at how many equal parts do you have in all and I counted 27 so that's how that part works so it's just a matter of looking in more detail as to how working out the fraction actually works all right so we'll um look at the next question later on